Hi, I'm Creston, and in this video, I'm going to be covering a basic Postgres SQL backup and restore. So in terms of basic, I'm going to be focusing on SQL dumps. So SQL dumps basically dump the database to a text file, and all it contains are SQL commands to rebuild your database in the data. Now, a SQL dump is typically run as the Postgres user because you want uh, essentially someone with super user privileges to be able to back up all the data that you have and the objects as well. Now, the SQL dump in Postgres's case, it is essentially a snapshot in time from the point at which you start it. So it is a consistent snapshot of the database. One advantage of taking backups using a SQL dump is that it can be restored in a newer version of Postgres if you want to do upgrade. Uh, the other advantage is it's mostly non-blocking, so it can happen or you can take backups while the system is online serving uh, applications. Now we're going to be talking about the two command line utilities that you use to create a SQL dump. One is called a PG dump, and that's for dump, uh, creating a SQL dump for individual databases. And one is PG dump all, which dumps all the databases for the cluster, as well as all the global objects, such these are um, users, groups, table spaces, etc. Okay, so let's take a look at some uh, backup and restore commands. So the backup commands, you can use pg dump. This happens on the command line, usually running as the Postgres user. So pg dump, specify your database name that you want to do the dump for, and direct it to the output file. Now you can give it whatever extension you want, but when I do it, I tend to do .sql because it's essentially outputting uh, SQL. Now, if you want to dump the entire database cluster, so all the databases on a given Postgres cluster, you would do pg underscore dump all and direct it to a different backup file. Now, to do the restore, because these are just SQL files, you can treat it as an input file into a PSQL command. So essentially, this command connects to the database using PSQL for the particular database name and then runs this as an input file to load all the data back into the database. And similarly, if you want to restore a cluster backup, you would use PSQL and direct uh, the input file with the F option and then specify the database to be actually the Postgres database because typically if you're installing the whole cluster, there's no other database other, it's there, it's a fresh cluster. Now, something else you may want to consider is using compression. So when doing a backup, if you wanted to use compression, you could do pg dump your database name and pipe it to a command like gzip. And what I tend to do is use the extension .gz when I export it to something like that. Similarly, you can do uh, something for pg dump all. So you could pipe it to gzip and then specify your file. In terms of restoring when you're using compression, you would use something like uh, gunzip and specify the file of interest. And the C option specifies to send it to standard out. So you can pipe the decompressed output of this file, pipe it into the PSQL command and specifying the database that um, you want to direct it towards. So this will restore um, the database uh, with this particular name. And then this is what the command looks like for doing a pg dump all. So essentially you're doing the same thing in piping to, to PSQL and specifying Postgres as the database. Okay, so let's uh, take a break here and let's look at 
uh, my local system. So this is, I'm using PG Admin, which is a GUI tool, for, GUI tool for Postgres that allows me to look at the different databases and tables, uh, etc., cetera, uh, on my system. And you can see I have, other than the Postgres database, I have three other databases here. And the X just means I'm not connected to them in PG Admin yet. So one of my applications, Test App Development, is actually a Rails app. And it is running right here. If I hit refresh, so this is data that is in that database. So now what I want to do is I want to take a uh, do a database dump of this particular database, my Test App database. So I'm going to go to the command line. And again, this is my local system. This actually is a Ubuntu system, 14.04. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do, because I like to do the backups as Postgres, is assume the Postgres user. And then now I'm going to paste this command. So I'm going to do a PG dump, the test app, a development database. Again, piping its output to gzip. And then it's going to direct it to this file. So I have a backup directory under my Postgres user, and it's going to put uh, test app underscore backup dot gz into that directory. So I hit, if I hit enter, that should be done. If I do a list, I can see that there is a, I'll do a, I can see that there is a backup directory here. And if I look in it, I can see my test at underscore backup dot gz, which I just created. Now I'm going to go in and stop my web application that's running. So I've stopped my test app. And then I'm going to drop the database. So I'm running a PSQL command and I'm passing this command. So this will run this run the SQL command as the Postgres user. So I'm saying drop the database, test app underscore development. Okay, so that database is dropped. And I can actually confirm it if I go back into PG Admin and do a refresh. So test app is no more. Now before I can restore it, I'm going to need to just create the database before I can restore all the objects in it. Uh, because with the I'm not doing a PG dump all, I'm doing just a standard PG dump. So it's going to want to restore into a database. So I need to go ahead and create it now. So I've created the database. Now just to see what it looks like, let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the Rails app. So it starts fine, but if I go back here and hit refresh, uh, there's migrations pending. So the state of the database is Definitely not where it needs to be. So let's go back to the command line. And I'm going to paste in the restore command. But I will go ahead and stop uh, the connections to the database. Okay, so I'm gonna run the restore command. Uh, gunzip, um, again, send it the this extracted file to standard out so it can be piped into the PSQL command, and we're restoring it to the test app development database. Okay, so that ran, and don't see any particular error, so it looks like everything worked. So now I'll go back, start up my database, I'm sorry, start up the Rails application, and if I go back here and hit refresh, there we go, we see the same two entries that were here previously. So we've successfully um, dumped out our database, um, destroyed it, and, and then restored it back to the time it was at the point where we backed it up. So what I've just shown you is the PG dump command example. Um, I didn't want to blow away my Postgres database cluster, but I could have done a PG all backup and then a PG all restore, uh, or use the methods to do a full cluster restore. Um, now I'm going to show you a script um, that I use uh, in my work at times when I just want a very basic backup. So this is just a shell script. 
um, what it does when it starts running is it grabs what the date is and puts it in a particular format. Then it goes through. It will delete any old backups in that exist in the directory older than a day. Then it does a full Postgres cluster, cluster backup. So pg dump all to gzip. And it uses the, appends the date at the end. Additionally, if you've connected up with a file storing service like S3, you could put in a command here that will sync your backup directory with S3. Um, in addition, you'll probably want to synchronize your Postgres configuration files as well. So if you've made any changes to postgresql.conf or your connection information with HPA, you want to back up those as well. And on Ubuntu, at least, they're under the etc postgresql directory and then under the particular cluster of interest. So this is a 9.3 in the main cluster. So that's where those configuration files are stored. And it, it just sends them to uh, whatever particular bucket you set here. So to run a command like this, I typically enable cron tab. And paste a command similar to the following. So at a 4 a.m. UTC, every day, run the backup script uh, dot shell and send output of what's going on with this script and any errors to the backup script.log in the same directory. Now, if I wanted to run that script right now, uh, it is in the current directory, so I could just do dot slash backup script to run it. And it would help to actually spell it correctly. Okay, so it just ran through and it gives you an output with what's going on. And if we do an ls backup, to look in the back directory, we can see our database cluster dump with the date appended was created. So thus far, I've shown you how to backup a database, and go ahead and delete that database and restore it, as well as shown you a backup script that you could use to backup your own systems and put it on a a regular recurring basis in cron to run. But what you'll definitely want to do is whatever backup scheme you come up with, um, bring up a second server or a second location and restore uh, the full database to it to make sure uh, that your restore procedures work correctly. So there's just a few more things I wanted to mention. Um, what about restoring individual tables? Can that be done using um, SQL dumps. So by default, no. In order to do it, uh, you must use a custom PG dump format. Um, because PG dump just helps put outputs SQL commands in a text file and it reads them in with PSQL, um, it doesn't know how to do individual tables. However, you can use uh, a custom dump format by using this syntax. So doing a PG dump FC, which defines the file format as being custom, uh, doing your particular database and sending the output to tbbackup.dump. Again, the extension doesn't matter. I'm just using dump for clarity purposes. Now, for doing the restore, you, you don't use PSQL. You use another command called pgrestore. So you could restore a database um, by doing pg, pg underscore restore the D option specify the database and then the file you want to restore. Now there are other options to be able to restore individual tables. Now you may be wondering, can you use PG dump all to, to dump to a custom format? And you cannot, but there is a way to get around it. So you can use PG dump all and use a globals only option that allows you to back up 
um, information such as the table space information, users, groups. Um, so you could back up that and not the databases. Then you could back up each database uh, using the custom format with PG dump. So that is one way to get around it, um, essentially to have your cake and eat it too. Okay, let's uh, talk just briefly about restore errors. Um, so you can specify to halt on any errors when you're doing a PSQL load if you set on error stop equals on. So how this would look with your uh, a standard PSQL restore command is this is the standard command and then you would just add this to, to the end of it, for example. Now you want to be aware of using this with a full cluster dump because when you're doing a full cluster dump, you're backing up absolutely everything. And normally you still have things like the Postgres user or other things in the database when you create a new cluster and you're gonna be doing a restoring a full cluster. So one alternative to this is restore a globals only cluster dump uh, without on error stop. Then restore each database with on error stop enabled. So restoring just the globals, again, the users, groups, table spaces should happen very fast and you should be able to identify any errors by eye. Um, but then as you restore in each database with all the data, you could use the on error stop just to ensure that uh, the restore happened without any errors occurring. Okay, so after the restore, one thing you want to consider doing is doing a vacuum DB hyphen A hyphen Z. So what this does is it vacuums, which is essentially a garbage collection, and analyzes statistics for all databases. So A means all databases and Z means to go ahead and analyze the statistics. So generally you, generally you will want to run this after you do a restore operation. So in terms of references to find out more information about this, um, there are the Postgres SQL docs and this particular uh, link talks a lot about what I've presented here. Uh, you can also just look at the man pages um, if you're on your server or if you're using um, Ubuntu uh, or other distribution. You can look at the PG dump, PG dump all, and the, the vacuum DB. So if you're interested in learning more about systems administration, database administration, um, application management in general, um, be sure to subscribe on YouTube or join our newsletter at rubytreesoftware.com newsletter. Thanks.